Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Tuttle and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody. Now before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Weez GNZ Gaming, Moldy Superman YT, and even Foxy. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install add-on pairs inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you do download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. This mod does require Pet Selector and I will leave this inside my description below as well. So make sure that you do download Pet Selector. Now the mod that we will be using to test this is the Custom Female Pet. So I will leave this inside my description below as well. Now the first thing that we must do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it, right click and open file location. As you can see I have already installed my requirements so make sure that you do install your requirements first. If you don't know how to install your requirements I do have a tutorial video on how to start modding in GTA V inside my description below so go check that out. Now all you guys gotta do is if you don't have one right click and go to new and then go to a new folder and create a new folder and rename that folder scripts make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure that it's all lowercase open up your scripts folder and now open up your pet selector extract folder and now select your pet selector dot dll and drag it inside your scripts folder exit out of your extract folder next open up your native ui dot dll and xml extract folder then i'll select both files and drag it inside your scripts folder then exit out of your extract folder then go back to your grand theft auto v main folder now next open up your add-on pairs extract folder and now next go down to your DRC packs folder open up that now go to your game folder then go to your mods folder go to updates go to time 64 go to DRC packs now simply select the add-on pairs folder inside your extract folder and drag it inside your DRC packs folder then go back to your main folder then go back to your main folder inside your game folder now next all you guys got to do next okay is select add-on pairs editor.exe and add-on pairs vast.xml drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder now next go to your readme.html double click and now just keep scrolling down until you see the DLC list line right here. Copy this, just copy it, and I exit out of your web browser. Now, all you guys got to do is exit out of your add on pairs extract folder. Next, open up your open IV, wait for a few seconds, go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. This process will take a few seconds. 
then go to edit mode select yes go to mods go to update go to update.rpf go to common go to data then scroll right down to the bottom until you see drclist.xml hover over it right click and select edit scroll right down to the bottom and now all you guys got to do next is just click on the side press enter on your keyboard and paste your code there save it and now that's all you got to do go back to your gta v and now we have finished installing add-on pets mod now the next mod that we need to install is the custom female add-on pet mod now this is what the pet will look like okay so all you guys got to do next okay is open up your custom female pet extract folder then go to this folder then go to this folder go to your realistic female 33 folder and now all you guys got to do next is open up your open iv okay now once you're inside open iv go to your mods folder go to update go to time 64 go to drc packs go to add-on pads go to your drc.rpf go to pads.rpf so you'll see a few pads in here okay but what i always do is that i always delete them but you can leave them if you want to it's optional but i'm going to delete them so to remove them just simply select them all right click and delete and yes now it's clean now, now the next thing that we are going to do is select all the files that's inside this folder and drag it inside your open iv that's all you gotta do now next okay is exit out of your extract folder now before we do close this open iv select one file and drag it to your desktop okay now next go to edit mode go to gta v exit out of your open iv go to your file right click rename copy that name and now you work yeah just don't need to delete that now don't need it now now next okay is go to your game folder and now go to your add-on peers editor.exe right click and run as administrator and now once you have your add-on pets editor popped up all you guys got to do is you need to add your pet okay so to add the pet go to your pets drop down menu go to new pet and now the model name is the name that you copied so paste that there pet type it's a female and is streamed is false then add pet now the last thing that we are going to do is select rebuild and then select ok then exit out of your add-on pets editor then right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder right click refresh your desktop and i will see you guys in the game and now we are here with franklin so we are in the game and our game did not crash so once you're in the game okay the first thing that you gotta do is open up your add-on pets menu so to open up your add-on pets menu is press your L key. Now unfortunately you cannot change the key. So make sure that you do not have any menus to uh, navigate the L key. So open up the menu by pressing L. And now you'll see add-on pets right there. Now go to add-on pets and now you'll see the mod right there. Then I go over here. And then there you go. And there she is. Uh, now the hair looks funny, but um, yeah, it's all right. But it, it's only to test out the mod to see if the mod works, and it does work. So that's how you install add-on pets. Now you can change the outfit by using menu. If you do have menu, you can simply press F8 twice, then go to play options, then go to wardrobe. 
you can go to front view to see the whole view and now you can change the outfits over here but unfortunately i'm going to leave everything as default okay and now back out and now there you go so that is how you guys install add-on pants and that's how you use add-on pants and be back again so i hope you guys did enjoy that but like always okay if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and i'll be more than welcome to help you out on that or if you do get stuck installing any other mods from gta v or cyberpunk 2077 then comment below and i'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well now unfortunately i'm not active inside my youtube comments so if you need fast reply and fast help or support then I will leave my Discord link inside my description below. Go and check that out and join the PC modding support server. And I'll be more than welcome to chat there and help you out over there fast. So like always, if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.